Hi guys, welcome to my channel and to my journey in beauty. Today's video is my year long makeup empties. I've been saving my empties mostly <laughs> all year long just so we can see how many of each category I went through, what categories I didn't have any empties in, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and get into it right now. So this was really fun to sort of dig through my empties from the year and just see where I had a lot of empties, where I had some, where I had none, were they full size products, were they samples. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm not going to give you any reviews on the products, but I will tell you exactly what I went through. So starting with primers, I did go through four sample primers and one deluxe primer this year. I used up the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. I used up a MAC Strobe Cream Sample. I used up a Too Faced Hangover RX Primer Sample. I used a Benefit Professional in the Pearl version sample and a deluxe size of the Becca First Light Priming Filter and I now have a full size. So there you go, five primers out of my collection. Next, let's talk concealers. This one was a little surprising to me, um, but let's go ahead and get into it. I did finish up two full size concealers and two deluxe size concealers. Now, to clarify for me what the difference is between sample and deluxe, sample means that it is a size that is not available for purchase. Deluxe for me means that it is a mini or a smaller size that is available for purchase, but not the full size. So, the full size concealers I used up this year were the number seven Radiant Glow Concealer and the Pixi Pat Away Concealing Base in the shade Nude, as well as the Deluxe Size in the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard Medium One, and the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in Light Neutral. I really liked that one, I would repurchase it. Oh. And then there was one more full size concealer that I used up this year, but I didn't save it. It was before I realized I should be saving my year end makeup empties. And that was a NYX HD concealer, exactly like this one in the shade CW4. So I used up three full size concealers and two deluxe size concealers, and that's five concealers out of my collection. Next, I did use up five foundations. I used up two sample foundations and three full size. Again, um, one I don't have, but the samples were the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation I got from Sephora Play. I really liked that one. I would purchase it. Um, as well as a Pure Lease BB Tinted Moist Cream in the shade Medium that I received a long time ago in Ipsy. That was nice, but that stuff's very expensive. And then I did finish up a NYX BB Cream. This is its replacement in the shade Natural at the beginning of the year, as well as this uh, Pixie Skin Tint, no, Pixie H2O Skin Tint in the shade number two, Nude. And last but not least, I love this foundation. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector in the shade Light Medium. I honestly feel like though the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation is pretty dupey for this one for me and my skin type, but I love this one and I would definitely repurchase it. So that's five foundations that I went through this year. Eyeshadow primers, I went through two and they were both deluxe size. I used up first the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the age anti-aging version. Um, again, this is a deluxe sample, as well as the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base 
and I got this in Sephora Play, but I consider it a deluxe. So basically I went through two deluxe eyeshadow primers and honestly I had to throw several away. I just don't go through them fast enough and I had two that went off on me this year, so kind of a bummer. So let's talk mascaras. I went through six this year. This does not include any that I was like, no, I cannot use you, garbage, declutter, whatever. Those are not included. These are mascaras that I personally used until they were unusable. So I did go through three full size, two deluxe, and one sample mascara. The mascaras that I went through were the Butter London Double Decker Mascara from BoxyCharm, the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extensions by Lash Blast. Love this for the lower lash line, lower lashes. <laughs> and then this was a real favorite for this year. This was actually in the running for the Journey and Beauty Awards but my burgundy mascara knocked it out at the last moment. This is the Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. We got this in BoxyCharm, but I loved this mascara. I was sad to see it go. And then I had a deluxe size Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, which was definitely a favorite and still a favorite. And then I had a deluxe size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I actually really enjoyed this one more than any of the other samples that I had tried in the past. And last, I went through a MAC False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara, and that was just okay. So yeah, I went through six mascaras this year. I feel like that was pretty good. I feel like I didn't overdo it. It's probably more than I would use if I wasn't a YouTuber, if that makes sense, but I feel pretty good about there being six um, because a lot of the times I will open more than one if I'm trying to test them out for you guys, especially as it pertains to a subscription box or what have you. Next, let's talk lip prep. I went through a few this year. I used up this Hanalei Lip Treatment in the Rose shade. I got this in an Ipsy eons ago and I was really glad to finally use this little thing up, but it is really nice. I would say that this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks like slightly underrated sister and you can get it on Amazon. And then next I went through the Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oil in Cranberry Pomegranate. This was the birthday gift at Ulta this year. I actually really liked it in the end. And then this is one of the EOS Balm Sticks. This is in the Sweet Mint version. I went through that one and I panned this one. This is the Chamomile EOS like Sphere version. This one was not my favorite. So. Four lip preps is what I went through this year. Next, let's talk colored lip products. And I only went through two this year. This one will appear to have quite a bit of product down here, but long story short, I broke the stopper and it got pushed down in there. And I really was just trying to get the last little bits of this, um, but I've already repurchased it. And then this was the Color Riche Balm. I don't even know if they make these anymore. Um, but again, this was a really old lip product and I was glad to use it up and move it out. I was a little surprised that I didn't go through more lip products this year. I mean, lip preps I went through four. That seems about right. They generally last me about three months. Um, but I was surprised I didn't move through more colored lip products this year. I also went through two e.l.f. lip scrubs. Um, this is the coconut one, and I've also been through a mint one this year. And then I've been through tr two brow pencils. One was a MAC pencil in the shade Lingering from BoxyCharm earlier in the year, a micro brow pencil. Again, I didn't save that one. <laughs> is this not the cutest little brow pencil you've ever seen? It was a free gift with purchase, but this is what it looks like. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. I loved this pencil, every bit of it. At which point I need to repurchase a brow pencil. I think I will purchase this one, even though it's ridiculously expensive. If I could get it on sale or something like that, I would absolutely purchase this one. It is worth the hype, in my opinion. 
Next, I have gone through four full-size setting sprays this year. I only have this one and then this Cover FX bottle that I have reused and reused time and again. This was the first one. This was the second one. I went through a bottle of the Mario Badescu Cucumber and Aloe Spray. And I also went through a bottle of the Pearlescent Coconut and Rose Facial Spray. Um, and I'm almost finished with the Smashbox Primer Water, but that's four full-size setting sprays. Again, I feel like that's reasonable. That's one every three months, and I think I can handle that. <laughs> and the last two makeup empties for the year, I did finish one sample size loose powder. This is the Laura Mercier loose translucent setting powder. I got this from Sephora Play and I now have the mini. This is a fantabulous powder and I'm so glad I got to try it. And I finished one eyeshadow. This is technically a shadow and highlighter, but it's always been in my shadow inventory and there it is. So, do we notice anything missing? I did not finish any bronzers, blush, or highlight this year um, because I do consider the other one an eyeshadow. What else? Hmm, I haven't finished any eyeliners this year. I have not finished any lipsticks this year, like actual lipsticks. There's a lot of things that in a lot of categories that I have not finished this year. So I find that really interesting and I definitely find that to be really valuable information to me in terms of purchasing, in terms of panning, and in terms of, you know, finding duplicates within my collection and maybe gifting or decluttering those duplicates um, for other people to use them. <laughs> so overall, I had 39 makeup empties this year for 2018 and 12 of those empties did come from Project Pans. So I hope this information was interesting to you. I will tell you that my inventory is coming soon. I will be starting my week of inventory videos on the 14th of January. So know that that is coming. I want you guys to see what I'm starting my no buy year with and just know it's there so you can hold me accountable so you can ask for specific videos if you're interested and so on and so forth. So I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days and I will see you in my next video soon. Mwah.